One of the most important studies in economics is that of utility theory. This little tutorial goes through and reviews some of the key ideas of utility as well as showing you how to calculate the marginal utility. Utility is a want or pleasure satisfying characteristic of a good or service. Utility is measured in units of measurement called utils. Utility analysis is the investigation of how consumers reach decisions to achieve mac utility maximizations. Remember that utility is measured orderly. Total utility is the total amount of utility one derives from consuming goods or services. The key point is that total utility decreases or diminishes over time as we become more and more sats saturated with whatever we're consuming. Here's an example of utility. First off, notice that we have two columns. One is the number of pizza pieces of pizza being consumed. The other is the total amount of, of utility that we derive from. If we look and notice that as we consume more and more pieces of pizza, our utility actually increases, then reaches a maximum point, and then decreases. If we were to do a graph of total utility, this is what it would look like. Once again, notice at one piece of pizza, we derive 10 utils worth of utility. At two pieces, we derive 15. At three, we derive, derive 18. At four, derive 20. At five, we derive 20. And at six, we go back down to 18. Here's another example. A student studies or does homework for a certain number of hours per night or per week. And in each case, notice the amount of utility that he or she derives from doing it. So when the person does zero hours worth of homework, she or he derives no utility. One hour gives them 15 units of utility. Two hours of homework gives them 22. Three hours worth of homework gives them 26 utils worth of utility. Four hours gives them 28. Five hours gives them 28 and 6 gives them 25. Here's another example. A student studies or does homework for a certain number of hours per night or per week, and in each case, notice the amount of utility that he or she derives from doing it. So when the person does zero hours worth of homework, she or he derives no utility. One hour gives them 15 units of utility, Two hours of homework gives them 22. Three hours worth of homework gives them 26 utils worth of utility. Four hours gives them 28. Five hours gives them 28. And six gives them 25. Once again, the key thing is to notice that as this person studies more or does more homework, the amount of utility they derive increases, reaches a maximum point, and then begins to decline. The formula, what we're really interested in is the marginal utility. The marginal utility is really the amount of additional utility one derives from the consumption of goods and services. You can think of this in terms of the ratio of the benefit, that is utility, divided by the number of units of consumption. So there's a couple of formulas. First is the way um, many Economists like to write the formula. Marginal utility is equal to the change in total utility divided by the change in the number of units of consumption. The little triangle stands in for the words change in. Another way to write the same formula is to write the words change in utility divided by the change in number of units consumed. Finally, the mathematical way, the way of actually calculating marginal utility is that we need to have two levels of utility called T1 and T2 and two levels of consumption C2 and C1. To calculate the marginal utility is relatively straightforward. The problems um, can be of really two formats. One is calculating the change in utility from one level of consumption to another or more than likely in most homework assignments and tests it might be something like completing a table of values, which really means that we're going to start at the top row of the table 
and move down the table calculating the change in utility for pairs of consumption and the associated levels of utility. The procedure for doing the calculating marginal utility is straightforward. One, write down the formula for calculating the marginal utility. Two, select a level of consumption and the associated total utility to be designated as consumption one and consumption two. Third, select a second level of consumption and its associated utility and its associated consumption. And this will be de designated as C2 and TU2. The fourth step in the procedure is to substitute the values for TU1, TU2, C1, C2 into the formula TU2 minus TU1 divided by C2 minus C1. You need to subtract the two total utilities, subtract the two levels of consumption, divide the two numbers, and if you need to do this, you may need to repeat this for the entire table. So what is the marginal utility of going from zero pieces of pizza to one piece of pizza? Notice first off before we start this process that the amount of marginal utility at zero pieces of pizza is NA, not ACAPOL, because we can't calculate, because we don't have another value to calculate um, the difference of in utility and the difference in consumption. So the first step is to designate one of the levels of consumption as C1. Since the question posed at the top of the slide says what is the marginal utility of going from zero pieces of pizza to one piece of pizza, we're going to make our starting point zero pieces of pizza. Since we selected the zero pieces of pizza as our starting point, our first level of utility will be the ones associated with no pieces of pizza, in this case is zero. Second, we're going to choose the second level of consumption. This time we're going to choose one piece of pizza as the zero level of consumption because the problem asks us what is the utility of going from zero pieces of pizza to one piece of pizza. The key thing when trying to decide which of the numbers to put first follow the order that they appear in the problem. Since we've chosen 1 to be our second level of consumption, we will need to choose the corresponding level of utility. This will be TU2. Notice because we chose the one piece of pizza, we're going to need to choose 10 as being our second level of utility. Next step is to substitute in the value for C1 into the formula. So we transfer the 0 from the table and replace the C1 in the formula with it. Next, we go to the total utility for that first level of consumption and we replace it in the formula. So in this case, since the total level of utility associated with eating zero pieces of pizza is zero, we replace TU1 with zero. Next step is to replace C2, our second level of consumption, with the number of items being consumed. In this case, the person consumed one piece of pizza, so we're going to replace C2 in the formula with one. Since we chose C2 to be one in, a, in the problem, we're going to find, need to find the level of til utility associated with consuming one piece of pizza. In this case, this happens to be 10. So we're going to substitute the 10 into the formula for TU2. Next, we're going to subtract 0 from 10, which gives us 10. We're going to subtract 1 from 0, giving us 1. Now we're going to divide 10 by 1, which gives us 10. And we're going to transfer the 10 into the marginal utility column. Let's look at another example. In this case, we're going from one piece of pizza to two pieces of pizza. So the process is basically the same. The first thing that we need to do is to choose our first level of consumption. And we'll choose 
that first level of consumption to be C1 because the problem asks us what is the marginal utility of going from one piece of pizza to two pieces of pizza. Since we selected C1 as our level of consumption, we will need to choose 10 as our TU1, our first level of utility. We're going to choose, since the problem asks us to find out what the marginal utility is of going from one piece of pizza to two pieces of pizza, our second level of consumption is going to be the two. Since we selected C2 to be 2, we're going to choose total utility 2 to be 16. Next step is to substitute in C1 for C1 into the formula. Next step is to substitute in 10 for the total utility 2 in the formula. Next step is to substitute in C2, which is 2 in our problem, into the formula. Our next step is to substitute in the second level of utility, which is 16, into the formula. Our next step is to subtract 10 from 16, which gives 6. Our, our next step is to subtract 1 from 2. This gives 1. Next step is to divide 6 by 1 which gives us 6. We're going to take the 6 and we're going to transfer it onto the table next to the two pieces of pizza. Let's try one more and then I'm going to leave this to maybe have you finish off the next the, the table. So first off the question is what is the marginal utility going from two pieces of pizza to three pieces of pizza? So we need to choose our C1, C2, total utility 1, total utility 2. So, since the problem asks us what is the marginal utility of going from two pieces of pizza to three pieces of pizza, our starting consumption is going to be 2. So we're going to put a C1 next to it. The level of total utility associated with C1 is TU1 or 16. The second level of consumption is going to be C2 because we want to know what we're gaining by eating that extra piece of pizza. And that is going to be 3. And our second level of utility will be placed next to the 19 because 19 is associated with the consumption of 3 pieces of pizza. Our next step is to substitute in for our first level of consumption into the formula. Our C1 is next to 2, so we're going to replace C1 with 2 in the formula. The level of utility that's associated with two, eating two pieces of pizza is TU1 or 16, and so we will substitute 16 in for T1. Our next step is to substitute in the level of consumption for C2. C2 is associated with consuming three pieces of pizza and so we will substitute in three for C1. The amount of total amount of utility associated with eating three pieces of pizza is 19 from our table and so we're going to fill in the 19 into the formula. Next step is to subtract 16 from 19. This gives us 3. Next step is to subtract 2 from 3, giving us 1. Dividing 3 by 1 gives us 3. So the marginal utility of consuming an additional piece of pizza going from 2 pieces to 3 pieces is 3. We're going to take the 3 and transfer it into our table. Why don't you take a minute and pause the video and see if you can calculate the marginal utility of going from three to four pieces, four to five pieces, and five to six pieces. You might want to reconstruct the table on a sheet of paper to help you do this. Take a look at your answers and see if they're similar. If you're 
are having difficulty calculating the 1, the 0, and the minus 2, take a minute and review the procedure at the beginning. You may need to pause the video on each slide to see um, the, how the calculations were done in a little bit more detail. Here's another example. Why don't you take a minute or two or three to see if you can complete the entire table on your own. And here are the answers for the entire table.